we can create vectors and matrices in MATLAB by entering commands as shown here. However, for larger vectors and matrices, typing individual elements one at a time is a tedious process. For example, what if we needed to create this matrix? If we try to create this matrix with 10 rows and 10 columns using square brackets, then we would have to write 100 separate values in MATLAB. A more efficient approach is to use array creation functions that can quickly create arrays with recognizable patterns or certain characteristics. For example, the RAND function creates an array in MATLAB whose elements are randomly chosen numbers between 0 and 1. The ONES function creates an array in MATLAB whose entries are all equal to 1. You may recognize the matrix shown as the 10 by 10 identity matrix. MATLAB has an array creation function called the I function that returns an identity matrix as output. We can use the I function as in this command. Since identity matrices have the same number of rows and columns, the single input to the I function specifies the number of rows and number of columns. Contrast the command that creates I10 with this command that creates a 10 by 3 matrix of zeros. The first input specifies the number of rows in the matrix of zeros, and the second input specifies the number of columns. This table gives examples of using the other array creation functions.